Hello, my name is Ed Villarreal. I am the Solutions Architect for Contact Center Enterprise for Worldwide Technology. And today we're going to be going through the creation of a custom dashboard for Unified Intelligence Center for Contact Center Express. Now this is, uh, we're currently using a beta version of Contact Center Express, so there may be some things that are different here that actually end up in the production version. So when we create a dashboard, um, you'll see that I already, I'm already logged in. First thing I want to, want to do is actually create the dashboard, and then we can add then we can add other components to it. So I'm just going to right click here, and I could create another sub uh, subfolder in here or subcategory, but I'm just going to go ahead and put this in the dashboard in the in the main root section. So I'm just going to call this my dashboard. I'm going to give everyone rights to it and you can see it's created right there. Now it is blank. You know, I click on this and, it, and it's blank so there's there's nothing available in there right now. And if I click add, you'll see that there's there's a couple different things I can add in here. I can add a report, a schedule, a URL, a widget, a sticky note. Uh, report is, is pretty straightforward. Uh, it, it's a report from one of the stock report templates or custom report templates. Schedule is um, one of those scheduled reports, but again, like we talked about earlier, the uh, scheduling isn't isn't quite there yet, so I would hold off and do it using anything with scheduling at this point. There's also a URL, so you can embed a web page. There's widgets, so if you wanted to go and add a, a widget uh, that either you built or you pulled off the internet, you can do that. There's also a sticky note, so you can place uh, informational messages on here too. So, but uh, the first thing I want to go, uh, I want to do is I want to add a report, and if you watch the other. Uh, videos that we that I did put out, uh, uh, we had or I put together one with a customized report, making a customized report, and this is the one right here, the My CSQ report. That's the one I want to place in that dashboard. And what I'd like to do is before I do, before I add it in there, I'm going to have to add in some default filters. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the edit, and the reason why I want to add in a default filter is because. Um, if I don't, every time I open up that dashboard, I'm going to have to enter that filter criteria. You know, so the start date, end date, uh, what's the, uh, what are the intervals, and in which uh, CSQs do you want to include? So we don't want to have to do that every time. So I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm just going to select this right here, which is bypass filter dialog, which I've already selected. I've gone through here once and done this. Then I want to edit the filter default filter, and I want to plug in my dates. I want to select the interval and I want to select the CSQ names and after that I can hit save and now every time I run this report it's going to use that default criteria which I can go and change but that's what it's going to use as a default so if we go back to my dashboard up here and I, we add a report in I'm just going to call this one my report it's, I, it's already selected a report I'm going to leave the default size here we can always change it so I, uh, I'm not going to mess with that right now and so I'm going to select the My CSQ report. It's also going to prompt me for the various views available. And so I'm just going to use that default view, which is the actual tabular report there. And I'll put that in there. You're going to see it's using the default um, filter criteria that I just created. And I'm just going to size this by grabbing this little corner marker here and just make it a nice size, and that's it. Um, the, now there's other things that we can add in here, other interesting things in here. For example, I could add in a widget, which I'll show you. A widget is a kind of an embedded program, uh, and so it is very easy to do this. So I'm going to call this uh, maybe the time. And I've already got a, a, this page open. It's, it's actually from Widget Box, and I've selected one of the widgets, one of the free widgets that's out there. It allows you to customize some of this, things, this stuff. I'm just going to leave it as the default. I'm going to get the widget, and I'm going to click on this copy button, and I'm going to go back to my original page, and I'm going to paste in this comment, content. And it's going to plug that little widget on there, and I can move it around wherever I want. I can size it however I want, and you're done. So there's a ton of free widgets out there, so you can you can modify that one there. You can use all any of those uh, from Widget Box, and they they plug right in there. And you can see how easy it is to add in 
uh, component like that. So the other interesting uh, item in here is a sticky note. The what this is is uh, let me just go ahead and name this is uh, let's see I've already done this before my note and uh, I'm going to leave the sizing there but you can place any note in there um, but you can put in here any information as to uh, that you may want to keep for later or maybe you want to pass on maybe you're sharing this this dashboard with somebody else or and uh, and want to pass some information along you can go ahead and, and uh, place a note on the page and um, that will that will stay with that dashboard there so when you're done you can click save here and that information that that layout is saved um, you can do a couple different things in here you can pop this out so for example I've used this before on a uh, uh, as a wallboard application uh, one caveat here is that there are no real-time reports in here right now, so this may not make the best wallboard application. Uh, but uh, from what I understand, the real-time reports will be coming um, you know, probably in a, in a subsequent release. Uh, there's also a slideshow, so you can have it so it displays each one of those elements, each one of those gadgets independently. So it'll, it'll go ahead and cycle through each one of those. Um, you can change the interval. Uh, again, it'll cycle, keep on cycling through here as long as you keep this up. Okay. I'm going to click on stop. Um, I believe uh, there is one more thing I wanted to show you in here. The last uh, element in here that I wanted to show you was the URL. And that is, uh, I'm just going to call this my URL. And you can add an embedded web page in here also. I'm just going to put in the WWT web page. You can see it's just right down there. I'll, you can size it to whatever size you like. Again, it, uh, and you can arrange this however you like also. Click save there. And you're all set. All right, so that's, that's all I had for dashboards. You can see that, uh, that it's a pretty powerful tool here. Uh, and, uh, and creating them is very easy. So uh, thank you for your time and take care.